Hi, my name is Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website at sfhelp.org. <clears throat> I've studied communication for well over 40 years. I'm a professional therapist. I've taught many classes about communication. I've written a book about it. <clears throat> One of the things uh, that many people I find are unaware of, and I offer this to you as a tip, is the difference between asking and demanding. Asking for something or requesting um, means you can tolerate a response that comes out the equivalent of no or not now or not your way or I'll think about it or maybe I don't know. Requests can tolerate those kind of responses. Demands cannot tolerate those kinds of responses. A demand insists that the other person hear you clearly and comply with your assertion. People who make demands without being aware of it often are controlled by false selves. They need power, they are insecure, they tend to think in black and white terms, and frequently demands <clears throat> really turn the other person off. They feel a, a demand often carries an implicit I'm one up message, you're one down, you will do what I say. Remember that when your parents used to do that, if they did? Demands often do not feel good. They evoke feeling disrespectful, disrespected, resentful, hurt, distrustful, angry, resistant. Requests are much softer and give the listener some leeway. My point here is the next time you assert somebody, assert something with somebody in an important situation, pause and reflect. Am I requesting? Can I tolerate? No. Or am I demanding? If I'm demanding, do I have an attitude of mutual respect with my other with the other person? Do I respect their needs, their dignity, and their feelings as much as mine? If you don't, be prepared for major resistance and in increasing relationship problems. The moral of the story is for effective communication, be aware. Stay tuned, more to come.